Hello travelers, today we're taking a look at the Quechua NH500 20 liter backpack. I did a review on the 10 liter version of this bag and they also make a 30 liter version too. So taking a look at a couple of features of the bag, it's fairly lightweight at 810 grams or 1.7 pounds and it has a lot of pockets and features that we'll get into. Starting off with the front of the bag, you can see that it has several elastic loops where you can attach a hiking stick or other accessories. I used it in this case for my Hero Clip carabiner. There's a slip pocket on the side and a larger front pocket, which inside has two mesh pockets and a small zippered stash pocket with a key clip. There's also two water bottle pockets on either side with an adjustable strap to secure items that you put in there. On the side, you'll see a zipper, which actually gives you access to the padded internal laptop pocket, which you can also access from the main compartment. Taking a look at the back of the bag, you'll see it has the same nice comfortable padding from the NH510 liter and the 30 liter also has the same. It also has the same comfortable straps and built-in sternum strap. However, the grab handle at the top, which all the NH500 line has, is something which I didn't really like in the 10 liter version and I also don't really like it on this version. I find that it kind of digs into my back and it makes it uncomfortable to wear the bag closer or higher on my back. On the bottom of the bag, you'll find it has a built-in rain cover that stashes into its own pocket, which is something the 10 liter version doesn't have. This is a good thing to have because although the bag's material will repel water a bit as you can see here, it won't withstand heavy rainfall for any long period of time. So the rain cover will definitely allow you to wear it in heavy rain without a problem. Inside the main compartment, you'll see there's a mesh pocket on the inner flap. There's also a nice padded laptop sleeve, which I mentioned earlier, has the side access as well. The adjustment strap on the water bottle pocket makes it a bit annoying to access the laptop from the side though, because you have to be sure it's unclipped to get full access. This laptop sleeve is actually padded on all sides, including the bottom too. So it should be safe to put your laptop in here and not worry about it getting banged up when you put the bag on the ground. It should fit up to a 15 or 16 inch laptop without a problem, but I was only able to try it with my 13 inch MacBook Pro. There's actually also two clips at the top here, which are designed to attach a water bladder. And there's also a slip hole on the side here where you can thread the straw or the bladder through. So you can use this bag on long hiking trips. In terms of what I was able to pack into the bag, I was comfortably able to fit my usual clothing cube, tech pouch, toiletry kit, and camera cube without any trouble. But there was still room to squeeze a few extra things in if I needed to. Overall, a great 20 liter backpack that's not too heavy or expensive at 35 US dollars or 49 Australian. And I think it would make a great beginner's travel backpack or a great hiking backpack for the weekends. Please leave a comment down below what you think about this bag. Would you prefer this one or the 10 liter version? And be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with future videos.